Hello everyone, my name is Mark James Weber, doing another YouTube video, and this right here is my dad. Me and him are actually hanging out at Thursday today for the holidays for a little while. Eventually it's going to be Christmas Day and Christmas Eve, which is what, like the 24th or tw and 25th? Right. So... First, I wanted to discuss the Survivor 45 of D's win. I don't think it's the worst outcome like Ben Drivergen winning or Brian Heideck winning. But I definitely don't think she's the best winner of all time or even close to best or worst. I'd say she's more like bottom 20 or 15. She's not the worst, but not the best either. The downfall is, is that I personally think Austin really, really should have won. And even though Jake didn't play as good, I personally was rooting for Jake or Austin more between D. We ought to think about the three factors, which is physical, social, and strategic. Yeah, Jake didn't do well in challenges, as he could have. Strategic? Yeah, fair amount, actually. Pretty good, too. And he actually did have a good amount of socialness. Challenges don't really matter as much, but they kind of do. And D and Austin were pretty equal, but the fact of the matter is, Austin is one of the most likable people to ever play, like Wu, in a way. So... I really think that really counts as a true winner in my book. I'm not going to say D is the worst winner, but she's like bottom 15 or 20 in my opinion. I think Austin should have won. Anyways, if you guys agree or disagree, you can let me know in the comments down below. And subscribe to my channel. Press like, subscribe, and leave only the good comments. If you guys disagree with my opinions, you can let me know. I won't say anything bad unless you say something bad you can disagree or agree or whatnot but be respectful with the comments and this is mark james weber signing off with another youtube video bye guys